In this tutorial, I'll explain how to remove row and column names from a matrix using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example, and this example is based on the matrix that we can create with lines two to four of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new matrix object is appearing, which is called MET. And we can print this matrix to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line five of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that we have created a matrix with four rows and five columns. And the row names of this matrix are row one, row two, row three, and row four. And the column names of this matrix are called call one, call two, call three, call four, and call five. Now let's assume that we want to remove the row names of our matrix. Then we can apply the row names function as you can see in line seven of the code. So within the row names function, we need to specify the name of our matrix. So in this case, our matrix is called MET. And then we need to assign to this the value NULL. So if you run line seven of the code, our matrix is updated as you can see by printing the matrix once again to the bottom in the RStudio console. So after running line eight of the code, you can see that our matrix is now shown without any row names. In this output at the bottom in the RStudio console, you can also see that our updated matrix still contains column names. So if we want to remove those column names, we can apply the call names function, as you can see in line 10 of the code. And within the call names function, we also need to specify the name of our matrix, and then we need to assign null to this as well. So if you run line 10 of the code, our matrix is updated once again, as you can see by running line 11 of the code. And after running this line of code, you can see our final matrix at the bottom in the RStudio console. And as you can see, our matrix does not contain any row or column names anymore. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.